Hi there, how it's going everybody? In this video, we will be learning about how to work with plan 32 Revit file conversion. Let's get started. We have two conversion methods. First is the direct plan 32 file, directly import or link to Revit environment. Second one is direct plan 32 file converted to 3D solid elements and link or import to Revit environment via export to AutoCAD command. I will just open one sample file. This file have all the pipe supports and pipes, everything. So I will save somewhere. Name is testing one. This is the uh, this is the direct file, and the second option is export to AutoCAD command. Once you run the command, you can save somewhere here. So this is the solid file. We have some limitation and the graphical issue on plan 3D and Revit software itself. Better to move all the conversion elements should be near by origin. Origin means x, y, z value is zero. You can you can see here. So this x, y, z value is zero. This is the origin in this drawing our world coordinate starting point this one so it should be like this and I'm going to open new new one template don't open uh, in 3d view itself go to plan view You can use mass also or otherwise a direct import also it will work I will use first uh, direct file so always use a near to origin arg only otherwise it will it will make problem now our file is imported if you zoom here is already shadowed mode. I am going to use realistic. If you come nearby element means it will come some geometry error. This is the first option. Second option I will go to open another one template. same this is the floor plan level I will import solid file file it is link if you zoom nearby any elements of uh, plant ready elements means it will visualize uh, it is much better much better than uh, previous one direct file import I hope that now you are feel comfortable working with plant ready to revit conversion if anyone has any questions about what we covered in this video then feel free to ask in the comment section below and uh, I will do my best to answer those if you enjoy this tutorial and would like to support them there are several ways you can do that the earliest way to simply like the video and give it the thumbs up and 
also it is huge helps to share those videos with anyone who you think would find them useful be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you for watching